Well, I'm really fascinated by the journey, actually, now through all the symphonies. As he's getting on, he is making the texture more and more transparent. He's eradicating a lot of, stu lot of stuff that is not necessary. And, and somehow, towards the end, there are lots of moments that approach chamber music. And this is a really interesting dilemma with the Ninth Symphony, because he never heard it, obviously. He never conducted it, obviously. And as we know, he used to work in such a way that he over-orchestrated, put too much stuff in his score, for the practical reason that in rehearsals it's easier to take things out than to put things in. It's faster. So he was fully prepared to to cross things out, doublings and an entire instrumental layer. This never happened with the Ninth Symphony, which makes it slightly messier than some other later works of his. I mean, if you compare the textures of the Ninth Symphony with those of um, the Seventh, for instance, there's a, there's a big difference. But he had something like 17 rehearsals in Prague and he had these two assistants, Otto and Bruno, who then became, when they grew up, they became very famous, both of them. And he changed lots of things after every rehearsal and, and just kept fine-tuning until he arrived at what we now know as the Mahler Seventh Symphony. And, uh, and this process never took place, obviously, with the Ninth.